everyone, it's Sunday and we are about to head out to go on a bakery adventure. We're going to hit three different bakeries, try something different from each one, see which one we like best, and also look at some neighborhoods and some different places we haven't been yet. First place. I've never been here before. <laughs> Honestly, I've only tried like the normal donuts, but like, there's like waffle. This place is pretty amazing. Uh, you can see they've uh, in there flipping their own dough and parting it out and pushing it around. It's really good pastries. Looks like we're gonna try it out here in a second and see how it tastes. The bad thing is I have no idea how to pronounce that. All right, so how do you say it? I don't know how you. No, really... you said you just said it. I said Maurizio Fiedas. Mauri Maurice Mauricio Mauricio Fado's Bakery. Mauricio Fado. Do you think Fado? that's an O? I think that's an A at the end. Fa Fado. No, I don't that's know. That's an O. That's an O. Oh, that's an O? Yeah, Mauricio Fado's. O's aren't supposed to go all the way down to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> quick side trip. We are going to look at a house over here in the neighborhood really quick Somebody's and then home. back to the bakery. I don't want to. No, try it out. Just take it, take it, like take one like you just said. Oh, Emily. sweet mother of God. Isn't that incredible? That's definitely Sunday dessert. <laughs> and to make a gluten-free person go crazy, what? <laughs> this apple fritter is amazing. It is incredible. If uh, if you're in the Tampa area, that's that's something special right there. That's a yummy apple fritter. I don't even taste apple. I just taste pillowy, sugary goodness. So here's the other good thing about that apple fritter. It cost exactly a dollar thirty-five. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, it was a dollar thirty-five cents. <laughs> I'm tempted to eat the whole apple fritter, but we've got another couple of bakeries to go to. The next one is one called Sammy's Bakery. It's in Temple Terrace, and I think it's gluten-free. Sammy's Bakery. Here we go. What? <laughs> The entire case is gluten free and the store is closed. <laughs> when is the. They don't want you to know. There are no signs. Did it say open? No, it didn't. I told you it looked like it was closed. Oh. Oh well. They shouldn't flash neon at all, though, if they're not open. Extreme disappointment, Sammy's is closed, so we're going to have to go off to the next bakery. Because of my disappointment of uh, Sammy's not being open, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to kill the pain with another piece of apple fritter. Last bakery, Marino's and Brandon. Got a chocolate covered elephant ear, a guava and cheese, or just a guava. Got a gluten free almond cookie, and then a gluten free brownie cookie. I'm gonna try those out later or now? Oh, later. Okay. We came uh, out to Brandon to this uh, bakery. It's the first time we've ever been to Brandon. I would say Brandon's probably. 10 to 20 miles outside of Tampa. I mean, it's it's not right near it. Like when people move out of a city to go somewhere else, they want some place that's cheaper, and usually they want some place where they can have more land, and maybe there's not as many people around. The last thing does not apply to Brandon. I am driving right now on a road that is four lanes on one side, four lanes on the other side. There is nothing but endless strip mall businesses as far as the eye can see and they're all packed. The parking lot for Kmart was absolutely packed from the very front all the way to the back of the lot. And from where I'm at right now, this is a busy, busy place. 
I'm not so sure that there's more traffic in Tampa than there is uh, in this particular area. After the bakery runs, we went back to the first bakery and there was a little barbecue place beside it that we want to try, so we got some barbecue there. And it was a bit greasy, so now <laughs> we're back home just kind of trying to forget that last meal. Good morning everyone, it's Tuesday, no it's Monday, and uh, we just, we're, we're, we're having our, our baked goods now. I just had the guava, it's pretty good, liked it. Brandy is now having the almond thingy. Is it good? Don't like it. Besides being covered in almond, it's got almond essence in it and maybe a little bit of orange. Mm. It's okay. So there you go, it's okay. <laughs> okay, she said it's yucky. <laughs> oh, look at the houses again. My truck's about to die. We barely got here. We're about to go inside and take a look. <sighs> Hectic day. So in this box, is the change of life. <laughs> so I've put this off for many, many years. I finally broke down and done something that a lot of people thought I might not ever do. I got a cell phone. A few years back I made a video um, about how I didn't own a cell phone. It was just kind of a funny, silly video, but it's true, I've never had a cell phone. This is the first cell phone I have ever owned. And the real reason why I didn't have a cell phone for so long is when we first moved to Washington, D.C., I, I interviewed for my job in Washington, D.C. while I was um, uh, going to college, and that was in Georgia. And they said, oh, it'll be great. You'll be making uh, you know, $48,000, which for an undergraduate um, graduating with an engineering degree, like that's kind of what they told you was the price you wanted to shoot for. Man, if you get $50,000, like that's the best thing ever. And $50,000 in Georgia, you're living like a king. We moved to Washington, D.C. Um, and what we realized was that $48,000 in Washington, D.C. doesn't get you anything. In fact, for the first uh, three months, we had no furniture. We uh, sat on the carpet and ate on a cardboard box. And for entertainment, we went across the street from the Barnes & Noble bought $4 um, novels and read those back and forth to each other. So anyway, all that to say, I could not afford a cell phone. And by the time I got enough money to be able to afford an actual cell phone, I just learned to live without it. So why now? Why do I, why do I have a cell phone now? For the past few months, I've been kind of keeping track of every time I could have used a cell phone or every time I needed a camera to take a quick picture or something I could have done for the business. And the number of times that happened was uh, just adding up very quickly. Uh, it might not have been every day of the month, but it was many of them. And so I finally just decided, and Brandy told me after uh, seeing me look at cell phones over and over again, we decided to you know, finally pull the trigger. And so, uh, yeah, there it is. It is Saturday and today we're doing a bit of work on my Batman job, uh, putting together circuits and stuff. Down here you can see uh, Brandy had a station set up, she's putting some circuit boards together. Um, got pieces and parts over here, 